at least. We've seen Zane go a whole lot of cat ears. These cat ears are seeing some usage today, by the way. A lot of people have the cat ears on. That's the power up. I know. Um, and, you know, this is a match that traditionally is pretty tough for Duckton, I believe. Um, however, Zane obviously excellent with this character. You know, not a lot of people who, who can do what Zane does with this character to the level that Zane does. Um, we haven't seen a lot of other characters from Zane recently. You know, a lot of Steve, a lot of Rob, other characters. But um, the, the Duck Hunt obviously tried and true main. Uh, great character overall. A character that Zane does definitely have a lot of faith in. Yeah, and I think, you know, Kane's going to be huge in this matchup, specifically as a reversal uh, for Jen's pressure. You know, Palu, one of those characters who can really stay on top of you with some great hitboxes, and I think Kane is really going to come into play there. But so huge. The, the one that Duck Hunt is so good at forcing with things like Clay Pigeon and Gunman is jump. And if you can read those jumps consistently as the Duck Hunt player, uh, you can get stocks up real early. And that up air read was nearly enough. Ooh, that uh, can ends up at probably hurting Zane in that situation. Ooh, but the that, that one, one does not. Sending them right back to center stage. Express. Okay, forward throw, not going to be enough just yet. I think the throw invincibility actually helped Jen right there. I think he was just barely in the can hitbox. Okay, Zane, they're going to stay in the corner, but that can slow on the shield. And it isn't really going to slip up, um, you know, Jen's movement. And Zane can take that first stop. And they're yeah. up. Just barely getting the timing mix up. Jen wasn't ready for the drag down up air, and instead Zane got a bit of an opening. No. And now Zane can play the defensive game that Duck is so well known for. Big damage here. Looking for some more, but a can right there gonna be caught by Palu Dash Tack. Um, you know, Zen maintaining this aggression even if down. Yep. That back air just sent the can nowhere? Yeah. That was weird. If I remember correctly, it is based off of base knockback, how far you send the can. Mm -hmm. um, so ba moves with like a lot of base knockback are really great. Nice DI right by there by Jen to avoid the can, by the way. DIing straight out and down um, to not get hit. And big damage here. We're not going to die off the top, but scary situation for, for Zane to beat. Oh my god, you lived. Zane got tripped up by the win box, was yeah. expecting to land on the left side of Jen. And instead, getting Jen another yeah. chance and he's gonna be capitalizing on it easy. Yeah, really just one advantage state there for Jen. He's able to clean up that stock. Um, and now Zane, after being up in stock number one in a decent position, now is down in stock number two against Palu in the corner. So tough of a position here. And Jen's movement just so, so smart. Yeah, Zane trying to fight Jen off with a down smash, but... Sure, okay, okay. SD's again today. Swell, it's super something's cool. Something's in the air today. Yes. Um, I mean, that one looked at least purposeful. It kind of looked like a suicide stock, but like, you know, you're up a stock. You can kind of play with that a little bit. 79% mm -hmm. on Zane, so definitely has a little bit to climb, but Zane's combo output is so insane Ooh. with this character. And we're going to have to see, you know, that combo uh, you know, output's going to have to come into play here. Zane down a full 120. That caught. Wow. Oh, oh, come and on. We was... gotta know how to DI. It, it is year of our Lord 2022. <laughs> Can we please DI that move correctly? You do not DI based on the side that you're on. It is always in front of Palu. Always DI in front of Palu. Always DI in front of Palu. Come on. When I mean, you that say was... DI in front of Palu, you mean. Like, oh, wait, like where the direction oh. she's facing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it was, it was a tough her. situation. Yes. I think. Zane specifically wanted to drift over yeah. the explosive flame and was expecting to do so. No, I think yeah, I was trying to drift in with the air dodge. I think I hit by like the like, the, like, like yeah, low two hits. But you and do have time to react there. You do have time to react. Well, hold on. Uh, no, you're look, stuck. Look at this. Wait. Because that was only two yeah. ticks of the explosive it's, flame. It started moving. Okay, well, it started moving to the outward direction. I think that was uh, where they were holding. Maybe not. I don't know that move. Okay, I know for a fact that move you always have to di away from Palu, like the direction away from the direction Palu's facing. Oh no! I, yeah, hold, so uh, like, I'm just gonna review the replay a little yeah. bit further. Mm. I'll be right with you. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So with that said, though, Zane uh, not really being um, held. Oh God, you died! <sighs> not really uh, being phased by that at all, and it's just been juggling Jen this entire stock. Not been able to get out of disadvantage. Can death? <gasps> no, not just enough. Ran out of gas on the can. Okay. I'm looking for another can ledge trap situation, but there, I think the auto reticle may have detonated the can, giving Jen a chance to get back in. Ooh, but that time though, that can. 
Zane gonna be taking it for Zane. Only 52% here. Okay, but no, the uh, the, the empty land did not end up working out for Zane there. Been able to get a punish for oh my God. Okay, punishes. All right, just quick nair. A little bit of combo damage for Zane, and you know you're up a decent amount already. You're already in a great position. The delay on the clay pigeon was so so good there um, to get a conversion for Zane, and now Zane really just chilling under these platforms, pressuring um, Jen's jumps, not allowing Jen to really get anything going here. Excellent match to get out there, get out of that situation. With the clay pigeon to break. That's frame one, baby. That the, the clay pigeon item comes out frame one. Right, Jen waiting for Zane to throw out the camp to get in and get the dash attack, get the center stage. These camp positions have been so good for Zane. Wow! Row intangibility, baby. That was so good from Jen, the recognition. Nice. Okay, DI out though does get the right DI there to take that stop to make sure yep. uh, they did not die. There, I think, okay. is I think the first platform cancel we've seen. Also from Jen. frame one, baby. Yeah. <laughs> And that's going to be enough for Zane to go up uh, two stocks to one in a great position thus far. And really, this game has not been going on all that long. Zane's just taking these stocks early and quickly. Trying out all the projectiles right now. Great okay. spacing there by Jen to run in and get that grab. <sighs> yeah, landing was a little bit of a yikes. Um, you know, drifting in versus Pal is so, so scary. You, you know, she just has so much ability to cover that space with things like dash tag. You know, S Mass is just a mix of that's going to catch everything. It's, you might just die. Yeah, and I mean, you this is absolutely die. the momentum that Jen needs, especially on a stage like Battlefield. Obviously, Zane's counter pick, but not a bad stage for Palutena, to put it lightly. No, this character can absolutely abuse those platforms to continue uh, pressure with up air. So this is this is this went from looking so good for Zane to a big old yikes. That dog just disappeared. Okay, hold on. Okay, using Oh, tried to catch the jump right there with the down air. Okay, Nair on the platform. This is still not a terrible position for Zane. Could get back into this game here with a couple more neutral wins. You gotta win a couple more though. Okay, back okay. air! Not enough just yet. Sending out the can. Okay. No, you're still fine. You're not a heavy. You're getting out of the situation. Okay, we're both back to stage. Yep, just resetting right back to neutral. Ooh, mix oh. up with the can on down throw. And the DI out on that, catching the jump. Excellently timed by Zane. And that is going to be Zane taking game number two. And we're going to game three, baby. Nice little pop off coming out from Zane. Yeah. We read the jump. They were ready for it all day long. Caught the drift away, nearly died to the Explosive Flame there on the landing. But caught jump right away. The can, mm -hmm. it's so tough how you like to tell how you need to DI that move. At ledge, you generally want to DI like in, um, but like when you're at center stage, you want to DI away. It's, 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 a t it's one of those moves. It's a little bit tough to know exactly when you should DI one way or the other. Um, yeah, especially at that high percent. Yeah, it's tough. Three, two, so, we're one, back to go. PS2. Same stage as game number one. Uh, Zane staying on the platform. Uh, very smart there, okay? Yep. Ooh, Ooh, almost gets the can set up, but does get a little bit afterwards. Yeah, gets a little bit of a trade there. However, this in there is going to be big old damage for Jen. Full combo for uh, uh, the Palutena there. Ooh, nice uh, whiff punish on the explosive flame there for Zane. Just maintain stage control with a little down tilt. Uh, and now in a much, much better position. Great conversion there by Zane. Zane's can conversions are so good. Yeah, really, I think, been working on that a lot. You can tell how you know much has changed when it comes to the gameplay. That took so much damage there. Explosive flame and the can, and that's going to be a stock. That is the thing with Duck on. You have a lot of trouble getting back down to the floor. The character actually has a lot of mix off the stage with can like recoveries. But um, just so tough for the cat to get back down to the ground sometimes. Not a lot of disjoint, not a lot of like air mobility to mix. Can Absolutely. definitely be tough. I think all you really have in that situation is like stalling with up B and then coming down with a hitbox. Yeah. But I mean, especially against a character like Palutena who has so much mobility when it comes to juggling, like it's a bad time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you're really seeing that come out into fruition here. Is having so much trouble getting a back onto the floor here. Nice uh, timing on the fair to come out right before the dash tag did. Ooh, but it's super good mix up by Jen to get down at the stage. Yep, Zane was ready for the uh, platform cancel there, but Jen not biting. Okay. Oh, and this unfortunate can. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. It didn't even explode on the fire. It just... It exploded on the dog. Yeah. Okay. Gets hit by the the gun hitbox. <laughs> and another... <laughs> Same exact position. This is... Yeah. This is just tough. You, Jet is just like, coming with a full adaptation. So tough to get back to the stage here. But, okay. Oh! What? So I... Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know that much about Duck Hunt. But what I do know is if you don't go into the free fall, I believe you just get the, like the auto cancel window on your aerials as you normally would if you land with the aerial. I don't think you like go into like a special lag like Bayo does. I yes, I'm pretty sure that's true. Yeah. So um essentially just auto cancel an aerial and had no lag going into the floor there. Mm -hmm. Alright, but right now, Jen up a full stock and and then some while Zane. Has to worry about getting the second stock right Ooh, now. Okay. Great read there with the F smash. Yeah, and that was a free platform cancel right yeah. back into center stage. And that's free shield pressure for Jen with the reflect. What is going on? You know, that's three SDs in this set. One of them didn't really matter. I mean, two of the. Ooh, ah, Super Smash Bros. We're playing the game. I love Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. It's a homie stock. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's like, yo, my bad. <laughs> God, I don't even want to... <laughs> I don't want to analyze any of that. That was, the, that was the worst ending in Super Smash Bros. Three SDs? Back to back to back. Zane's I was really like, starting oh, to bring it back, too. There was like one SD per set before, and I'm like, oh, there's something in the water today, huh? <laughs> yeah. And now this is three back to back to back. Did... I'm, Wait... No, that, that that was first stock. That was the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first SD, and then I I don't even know this. This first SD makes make sense to me. Zane or um, Jen just went too deep back air, didn't jump, mm -hmm. and did, I don't I don't I don't. I just was there no double jump? Can, I, can we go back to that last one? Can I at least see if there was a double jump or not? <laughs> I need closure. Okay, so gets hit from the floor. So double jump right. is still here. No. Why wouldn't they have double jump? <laughs> Welcome back to Thanks. Xeno 2 War 5. Is that, is that on the soundboard? Because yeah. I've been wanting that to That's be on the soundboard amazing. for a long time. That's amazing. 